breaking news overnight in Mobile. We have learned one person was inside a house when it caught on fire early this morning. This happened at a home on Rowell Street just before 3 o'clock this morning. That's where we find News 5's Katarina Lukatic. She is live this morning with the very latest information. Good morning, Katarina. Hey, good morning, Jessica. Yeah, this fire was so large this morning that it actually did damage to two buildings, not only the home where this fire started, but also the house next door from some of those flames. Now, this fire started here uh, just after 3 o'clock this morning at a home on Rowell Street. Did very significant damage to the home where it started. When firefighters got here, they should, could see flames coming through the roof. Now, a car under the carport at this home is actually completely burnt here this morning. Took firefighters about two hours here here on the scene to get everything under control. Alabama Power came out uh, to make sure everything was okay. Neighbors tell us there was one person inside of the home when this fire started. They were able to make it out safely. As for what far started this house fire, that's something that fire investigators are looking into. Reporting live in Mobile, Katarina Lukatich, WKRG News 5. We are also covering breaking news this morning in the search for three year old Camille Cupcake McKinney. She is the young girl who became the subject of a statewide Amber Alert after she was taken from a birthday party on Saturday. A person of interest is in custody, but still no sign of the little girl. Conan Gasquay uh, continues our coverage this morning from Birmingham. The Birmingham police have set up a command center across the street from the Tom Brown Village housing complex where they say three year old Camille McKinney went missing during a birthday party over the weekend. They are still searching for that three year old child. But again, the command post is set up across the street from the housing complex where she went missing. They have also made contact with a person of interest in this case. They made contact with that person of interest at a different apartment complex in Centerpoint late last night. This development comes about 24 hours after McKinney went missing. Early Sunday, police released a picture of the man they say they wanted the, to talk to. They also released a picture of the vehicle they say the person of interest was driving. This morning, police tell us that that vehicle, a Toyota Sequoia, has been recovered. Of course, the biggest question in this case is the current whereabouts of three-year-old Camille McKinney. Police in Birmingham working with several different agencies on finding her whereabouts. Guys, back to you.